Good morning, it is Thursday, May 3rd, and today is our final day in our apartment. Today we are moving out, and at 3 o'clock we will be handing over the keys, so we have a couple of hours, yes, five hours, to clean everything, move everything out, and stuff the van full with everything. So the plan is to head to Jordi's parents and we will stay there for a couple of days to finish building the van because there are a few things that we still have to do. And our little puppy Venus cannot leave the country for another one and a half weeks because she had her rabies shots which she needs for travel. Um, but that means that she has to wait for three weeks after them to travel and that has now been one and a half week ago. So Monday in one and a half week we can officially leave the country. If we will be ready by then, uh, that's the question. We don't know, but we will keep filming and telling you all about it. But today it's moving day and I thought I'd show you our apartment because we haven't properly shown you that um, before. And it's still a mess, <laughs> but we thought we'd show you and you would understand that it is a mess due to the fact that we are moving. But um, yeah show you how far I've gotten uh, cleaning up and then we'll head out and uh, show you what the van looks like because you already finished building the bed frame, uh, I mean the slatted base. So I'll show you that and I'll show you everything that you're already currently building, uh, that you already is currently building into the van because we still had some leftover stuff that was painted that had to be um, installed so he's doing that at the moment. But first, time for an apartment tour. So this is our kitchen and that's also our entrance. And this kitchen is quite large, but it has four doors, meaning that it's very difficult to find space for everything. Now, time to show you the mess. There is stuff everywhere, um, and on the counter as well here, but it doesn't matter. I have to do the dishes, and I have to bring some stuff downstairs, but um, yeah. Uh, our kitchen is quite small, was quite small, but we did have an extra cabinet here and uh, some working area here as well. And we managed that. Our fridge was in our other room here because it didn't fit. All right, the bathroom here. I've already emptied this and cleaned it out completely. So that's ready. We don't have to do anything about that. Just take these towels off and um, that's it. Also a very small bathroom, but hey, we, at least we had a bathroom. We didn't have, I don't have one in the van. Okay, heading over to what was our lounge and bedroom. <clears throat> Keeping in mind that this is a very small apartment, so the rooms were kind of mixed. Um, we slept on the mattress last night because uh, the rest had to be sold or given away. So, um, uh, and the mattress is staying, so we thought we'd sleep on the mattress and um, get rid of the rest before we left already. Those are the crates. That's Venus. Those are the crates that we will be putting in the van. Um, we will uh, probably have them behind the crate for the dogs. Um, this is all stuff that we have to uh, sort out into the van. This is stuff that we have to keep, want to keep. It's mostly... <laughs> it's mostly clothing um, and those two shelves I'm just going to bring downstairs in a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, one thing that we haven't sold yet, which we're very, very sad about, is this, is this sofa. Um, I'm not sure what we'll do with it if we manage to sell it in the next few hours. Um, this, this is a range of, of student buildings, so, so there are many students that need a sofa. <laughs> but we haven't found the person that want to buy it. Um, otherwise we're going to put it downstairs and someone will pick it up in a few hours, we're sure. Um, that's done a lot here in this building. But um, this is our lounge area. We had the Xbox and a TV set up here. But yeah, this was our lounge and that was our bedroom part with a wardrobe here and the bed there originally. But now it's just mess. Then this is our other room. And this is where we did most of the work. And um, yeah, it, was, it, had the, um, it had a massive dining table, still has, and uh, two desks and um, a couple of cabinets and stuff like that um, and also our fridge and here we had another cabinet with some Kenwood mixer stuff uh, that we used for cooking a lot as well so here we had more cooking supplies we love cooking 
and here's another cabinet so I'm just going to clear out this cabinet and um, yeah I'm just working on uh, putting some files from my um, computer onto uh, an external hard drive disk and um, that's it for the cleaning up like the computer part the computer hasn't been so sold either it's not the best computer but well at least I wanted to sell it it's a shame not to but well that cabinet is staying another black cabinet is staying and then we're also leaving the mattress and the TV and the sound system because the new tenant would like to have that so she bought it from us but yeah that's our apartment now I'm heading outside to bring you some of these shelves for the uh, for the wardrobe and I will take you guys along and show what the van looks like because it's changed a lot again here we are in the van and as you can see we have a slatted base you already worked on that yesterday evening and this morning and it is finished so that area can move here and then we have a bed and now we have a sofa in a few hours we will also bring in the mattresses and see if they fit and if we like the color because it turned out a little bit different than we thought but that's all right um so yeah the only thing that we have to think about after using it for a couple of times is this gap because Due to the fact that we have uh, these brackets which slide in here <coughs> and here, we can't obviously let this beam run up to there because then the hooks don't fall into place, uh, meaning that we can't connect a slat here. Um, so we're thinking about uh, how we will fix that, if we'll potentially use some beams connected to the bottom here and a slat uh, onto that. Not sure yet, but the matters runs up until this edge at both sides. so. It should be fine, we just can't put pressure on here when we step onto the bed or sofa. But for now it looks amazing and we're very happy about that. It looks good. And this system of lifting it up and moving it there, it, it works perfectly. It just works best if one is on the other side. Um, but that's fine, you can also sit on the sofa and do it. Um, so yeah, it works great. So I will do a video on that once um yeah once we're all settled in uh we will explain the entire thing in one video so i just brought in those two shelves they are now in place and yori will bolt them down and yori worked on this area here he um installed a structure so that we can have a beam on top in which we'll screw some hooks as well as down there um meaning that we can connect the bungee cord and we will do the same around here so that we have again a beam at the top uh, we installed these small beams here because um, the ceiling can't really um, hold any weight so that's why we're doing it like this uh, so that we have a sturdy structure um, yeah oh and we also brought in this uh, metal tiny crate thingy it's now filled with most of our cutlery and it's a little bit too much that we have in there but we used this to weigh it down because we um, installed those two sheets of uh, cork so the same as this at the bottom there so to stop it from wrinkling wrinkling when we were driving in the van because it would clatter a lot like make a lot of noise so um, oh yeah and Jordi also installed this door and it looks amazing I think it looks so much better now that it has a finished uh, look here the only thing is though we w we wanted to install um, some magnet things that we could uh, attach on a an, an added beam here and onto here but because this door is very 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 slim we've not we're not sure how we can are going to do that because the um the screws will go through the door so we'll see if we can find something like a solution perhaps add another small piece of ply onto the door but we'll see for now it looks great and since we will be stuffing the van full with stuff i think this floor area will be covered so the door won't open and close when we're on the road towards yuri's parents today but yeah I think the van is slowly coming there and turning into a home now. And yesterday we also had a very sudden delivery for the flu pipes. Uh, we had expected them to arrive one day earlier but we didn't get a confirmation. So suddenly there was a truck here and they delivered the stuff after we had switched the address to Jordi's parents but at least it arrived and uh, we have the stuff now but it just means that we have to drive more stuff over to the north of the Netherlands but that's alright. Jordi just picked up the lagoon table leg and it fits. So now we just have to see how it moves around because we haven't tried it yet. 
and then we'll see what we'll use as a table on top. We already finished these structures, both here and there, and he's just not quite sure about the separating wall there um, because it is just a tad too low. So we'll see what we do about that, if we put it in place or not. It would just have been an extra support in case we pull the bungee. Yori is now just installing one final thing, which is the door that will lock up the distribution board. And once that's in, we will pack up the stuff that we have here, bring that indoors. Probably do one final sweep through the van with the vacuum cleaner. And once that's done, we will have some lunch and then we will pack all of the stuff from the apartment in this van. So these are the three final hours here in the city. I also just picked up my passport so now we're all ready to go and um, yep. It's an exciting day and it's going well. The weather is great as well. We can just wear a t-shirt out now. So um, yeah, good moods, good vibes and uh, a very fun day. Uh, it's taken quite a while, but it's finally nearly empty here. Still some stuff, but most of it is gone. Uh, but we'll be back with you when we are in the van driving off. So. All our belongings are in the van and you won't believe how much stuff this is. We thought that we had gotten rid of everything that we had to get rid of, but we definitely didn't. I think we are going to keep like a quarter of what we have, but that, that's also because we have some wood and um, I think everything that we need to use for the wood burner, like the flue pipes, but also I think, um, yeah, a lot of tools and everything that we use to convert the van, so that will not stay, obviously. But there's still a lot of stuff that we have to get rid of. Anyways, we're now at a gas station getting some <coughs> diesel. And then we're going to decide where we are going to have our dinner. Because it is quite late, we thought we would be ready by like 3 o'clock, but it's, I think, 6 now. So, yeah. Not sure what we're going to do, but we are, uh, but we are heading off to Jordi's parents uh, after we decide or after we have had dinner. So, yeah, it's been a long day and we're both very tired. And when we get to Jordi's parents, we still have a van completely stuffed to the brim with our stuff. Well, we'll see you later. It's now late at night. We arrived at Jordi's parents' house about three hours ago. We uh, edited the vlog and we unpacked the van. We uh, stored some wood in a garage that we can use um, to build the van. And we unpacked the, uh, our personal belongings into a room in which we are staying currently. So um, we have a comfortable bed still. And we hope that our mattress in the van will be comfortable enough so we can sleep just as well in a couple of days. Uh, but for now we have this room and we are very happy that we can stay here. So tomorrow we will continue building on the van, working on the van. Um, we will probably um, work on the uh, leakage first because that's our first priority because the weather is going to be alright for the next couple of days. So as soon as we can finish that, the weather can go back to bad if it wants to. Uh, but we also have to install the uh, flue pipe for the wood burner and we also have to treat some rust, meaning that if the weather would be great for a couple of days, that would be amazing. Um, and we also have to install some bungee cord and other stuff in the van, but that's alright if the weather isn't as great. Um, yeah, today was a very, very tiring day, but it was a lot of fun and we were very, very happy to have finally moved out of the apartment. And um, yeah, one chapter is finished and we cannot wait to start the next one. Hope you guys will continue following us, even though the build is nearly done um yeah we are very excited to travel and take you guys along with us so have a great night and we'll see you again tomorrow goodbye